hello hello what is up everybody yes i know i know it has been a minute since i posted the very first video but this is part two of the vendors that i used for my wedding back in march so if you are interested keep watching and let's go welcome back to my channel you guys again so sorry for the delay and because this video part two has been delayed I'm gonna go ahead and drop two videos at the same time so once you get done watching this video make sure to tune in to part three of um, this wedding series and I'll be talking about okay you're engaged so now what like the crucial steps to um, planning a wedding like the crucial steps that you need to be taking to planning a wedding so make sure you tune into that um, so yeah so let's just get right into it okay so first video recap we talked about like all of the the big ticket item vendors that I had for my wedding so now I'm just gonna go down the list and talk about some of the little like smaller um, DIY type of people that I used for my wedding. So one thing about the wedding venue that, that I chose, um, it was here in Atlanta called the Bill, Bill, Bill Ballrooms. Um, one thing was that it was not an all-inclusive venue, which I personally love because I'm, I can be controlling and I knew how I wanted certain things. And it could, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I talk a little bit about that in the other video about like picking your venue and knowing what type of venue, what are the stipulations of your venue. But for my venue personally, um, there was no like in-house wedding coordinator or um, in-house stipulations that you had to go by in terms of you have to use this floral and decor um, person. You have to use, um, like there, there were no restraints in, in that regard. So that um, afforded me the opportunity to, you know, handle that myself. Um, let me be creative on um, price and look at all of those things and like I said I pretty much knew like how I wanted everything to look so it did it did not overwhelm me now that's just me um, you know some people want venues that everything comes all in one and that's that's totally fine that's totally great okay so just like last time I have my handy dandy paper so that I do not forget any of the vendors that I use or any of the sites or anything, the businesses that I use, because I want to make sure that, um, you know, I'm telling you guys everything. And so um, I do have a couple of things that, you know, I actually used in my wedding that I have here with me. A lot of stuff is, I'm going to be honest, a lot of stuff is still at my mom's house in her garage, but I do have some, a couple of little small things here that I can show you guys, but I have everything written down on the list. And again, just same as last time, everything that I talk about will be put in the description of this video. So if you see um, anything that you like, that you like, or you see anything that's like, oh, that's cute, or um, you hear me talk about something, um, then, you know, I'll put the information of where I got it from in the description of this video, and then maybe you can use it for your own wedding. So here we go. So the first several things are all linked to my Amazon. So again, that that link will be in the description of this video. So things that I got from Amazon. If you don't know me personally, let's just put it out there. I love Amazon. I love Amazon. Like um, my, my wedding registry was through Amazon. So many things I got from Amazon. My engagement dress was from Amazon that we took my our engagement photos in. Um, what else? Uh, my dress for my wedding shower was from Amazon um, so many things so as far as like the day of the wedding like okay things that I got from Amazon um, my daughter's flower girl dress Paisley's flower girl dress I got so many compliments on her dress and everybody thought that her dress was like super expensive no you guys her dress was like 40 no more than $45 <laughs> From Amazon our petticoats so I had a petticoat under my dress Paisley had a petticoat under her dress her petticoat definitely added the ballroom factor to her dress um, those were from Amazon um, Paisley's flower girl basket I actually do have that Let's see. super super cute super small for her 
um her flower girl basket was from amazon um super affordable what else her tiara and if you can see it it's a rose gold which my wedding it matched perfectly with my wedding colors which were gold and white so that was her tiara that she wore um on the day of the so wedding. things that i wore um my hair clip my earrings my bracelet um those things were from amazon super super affordable obviously not real but that costume jewelry factor if that's what you're looking for something big that stands out and you don't want to break the bank amazon and i actually have those things that i can show you and this box which is just a regular um like picture photo album box amazon now, obviously not the decoration <laughs> um my maid of honor did this so okay, my maid of honor did this but the actual just regular and she like spray painted the inside and everything but the actual white box amazon and you definitely need one of these because um you're gonna have special obviously not for obviously not just for after the wedding um but like during the wedding you're gonna ha need something to store like special things in like the marriage certificate um the rings um your jewelry things like that like you you need a special cute little box that you can store things in so again um my hair clip that i wore for my wedding amazon my earrings amazon what else is in here my bracelet super cute has like a little floral amazon um anything else from amazon in here oh the the men's corsage um boutonnieres amazon and what i these were so so cheap y'all they came like i don't know like eight to a pack like no more than 15 like i think they were like ten dollars or something like they were super cheap um what i love about this two options you can either pin them you can either pin them like regularly or just clip them like just a regular so they were super easy for the boys to there you go so all those things were from amazon something else so yeah and again this box was from amazon as well okay so another thing that i got from amazon were my shoes so i knew i wanted to pick a pump that was cute um for the pictures because i mean if your dress is long nobody's really going to see them but for the pictures as well as like hey if they're comfortable and i can keep them on keep them on all night why not so amazon so i found these y'all they were super comfortable i kept them on the whole night didn't even feel like i had um heels on or shoes on at all super comfortable super affordable we're going for affordability here you guys um so i got these from amazon my ring bearers um tuxedos amazon you guys they were super affordable um because again like i wanted to like not just for me myself like the people that the, the people that were involved like yes i wanted us to look good but i'm all about looking good like affordably um and so my ring bear suits were from amazon my bridesmaids dresses amazon like i knew like i, I was determined i found plenty of dresses on amazon that looked way more expensive than they were so i was like i'm gonna like take a chance i took and disclaimer for all of this all of these all of like for anything that you buy online like i don't have to tell you guys like do your research read the reviews like uh, over and over and over um look at other youtube like especially if it's a site that you haven't bought from before like look up youtube reviews um from that site before you just go and purchase something so as far as the bridesmaid dresses obviously that's like so, that's a big that's a big deal so i made sure that you know the people that i bought from from amazon like i made sure like i looked at the pictures the reviews all of that and my bridesmaids dresses were like 80 85 something like that dollars um so their dresses and their shoes the shoes were like 30 something um little small things like my table numbers like the table stands the square acrylic and the the gold sticker the number stickers all of that amazon my garters i don't know where the smaller one well i threw the smaller one out you get two you 
you throw one out and then you keep one. My garter is super affordable. They were like $12 Amazon. So envelope box. So it's very cute and cute and pretty, the envelope box. Um, so I had like an acrylic theme to go throughout, you know, the wedding very subtly. So the envelope box where the money and envelopes and gifts and all that, like that was from Amazon as well. Super affordable. Okay, so now let's move on to some more stuff. So AliExpress, if you've never heard of AliExpress, um, like a Chinese wholesaler um, website situation. So AliExpress is another site that you you want to make sure that you do your reviews and your research on the things that you might you know possibly will be purchasing but they and it, some of their things do take a little bit longer to um receive in the mail however there's another there's another place that i'm i'm giving you you can do it sis like you can <laughs> i know it's scary to order from somewhere new at first but you can do it so aliexpress i utilize aliexpress as well things that i got from aliexpress um corsages like corsages for you know the grandparents the parents we had a lot going on, a lot of grandparents and parents i got i, I don't obviously i don't have have any extra because they have them but um bouquets my bouquet my bridesmaids bouquets aliexpress yes aliexpress um obviously they were fake but i you know as long as they don't look like dollar general like as long as they're cute like i was fine with that um because I, I like to keep bouquets and things like that anyway so i was fine with the silk flowers um so yeah aliexpress um my bridesmaids like my robe and my bridesmaids robes aliexpress where like that they had the cute little sayings on the back like the title um we took you know cute pictures in those um with the robes um I got these slippers now obviously these are like the slippers you get like when you get your feet done but they did the job for the pictures <laughs> that's what they were for like they they did the job for the pictures i chose to give all of my bridesmaids on the day of the wedding for like gifts was their jewelry so their earrings next couple of things that i got um were from um etsy i'm sure everybody knows what etsy is etsy you know you can find super cute things on there and in my opinion like you can really get sucked into buying everything on etsy but it is cost a pretty penny so i tried to get as many things not on etsy as i could um but some things i just couldn't pass up because they were too cute so a few of those things um so the cutest thing that that I got in my in my opinion from Etsy that I that I was able to customize was our guest book. So our guest book was not like a, a literal book. It was a cute acrylic like heart. Um and you know I could customize like the name inside of the heart and then it came it came with the pins, it came with the wooden hearts and guests could write messages on the heart and stick it down into the little acrylic like large heart. I thought that was so cute and it's something that you can keep and I still I have it it's actually at my mom's house but I thought that was super cute um you know to put on the table a signature piece so I got that from Etsy another thing that I got from Etsy was um here comes the bride sign that it actually wasn't even used <laughs> yeah so a ring my ring bear so one the baby ring bear um little nephew he came down the aisle on mom's hip because she was a bridesmaid and then his brother his older brother he i guess he had stage fright so paisley took him by the hand and they ended up while it was too cute they ended up walking together hand in hand he was supposed to be holding the sign and she was supposed to be throwing out petals but they couldn't do that because they they their hands were locked together um but anyways i had a here comes the bride acrylic sign to go with the little subtle acrylic theme and i got that from etsy as well um, another thing, dress hangers. So dress hangers, I feel like have been, like they're they're popular. Um, it's good for the picture where the the wire is just like you know folded up into like the name. So I got that from Etsy as well. The seating chart. So I was gonna like do the seating chart by myself um, and just like use Canva and like you know like just do it myself or whatever, but with with the seating chart i think i mentioned it in the first video like the seat like get like 
guests and all of that was probably the probably the only stressful thing as far as planning the wedding because people were literally the week of like trying to ask could they come and like it was so many changes so of course because my like for the reception there was like res assigned tables um like the seating chart had to be done at the last minute and so at that point i was just like i don't feel like doing this like i'm just gonna like i don't feel like doing this and i don't feel like it possibly like not looking cute or being messed up so let me just like i found um a template a template from etsy and it wasn't super expensive and i was like let me just do let me just use theirs i know it'll be right i'll buy the little pdf like you design it so what you do is like you buy the pdf and they when you buy it, it gives you access to like go in and put the names in yourself and like design it how you want like the it's already pre-designed but you just add the names in and then you just take it you like you email and you you can get it printed out at walgreens and you'll know that it won't look pixelated or blurry or anything like that and like the fun is already how you want it and the spacing is, is already like how you want it all of that so i used it an etsy um seating chart template for my seating chart and my seating chart was like blown up and was like inside of a frame um so they could when the guests walked into the cocktail area for the reception they could see you know oh i'm here i'm table one. Oh, i'm table two yada yada so i had custom masks so you know you're living in like COVID times where you're like okay what party favor are you gonna have masks so at my venue they did not require everybody to wear a mask it was just like whatever i wanted so i had um thermometers I also got the handheld thermometers from Amazon. I had somebody like taking temps, like when they were checking to see if you were on the list or not to come into the wedding, like they uh, had uh, somebody checking temps. Um, and so I also gave, had custom masks for my guests and that was, I guess, the party favor. So um, the place that I used to do my custom mask, Alibaba, if you don't know what Alibaba is, it's basically a sister company of AliExpress. Um, and it, they have it's like a Chinese wholesaler, like even more wholesale products. Um, and so again, it takes a it takes a while for you know their things to come in. But I was really happy with the mask, their their the quality. Um, you know, I was able to customize them exactly how I wanted. I actually created the logo myself and then sent it to them as a pdf and they put the logo on there and the masks were really great and i was able to order like a, a large bundle of them um so i got my mask from alibaba my veil so if you don't know if you plan on using a veil for your wedding and you have not priced veils yet veils can be expensive like i know you like they may just look like netting but no they can be expensive especially when you start going with like the cathedral veils um those are the long the long ones and i i knew that i wanted a i wanted something dramatic i wanted i wanted to look like she's your queen like coming to america i, <laughs> I wanted a long veil so cathedral veils can like start at 150 and go up 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 so i was like hey i'm trying to save my pennies like okay you know we're so i ended up um getting my veil online um from jj's house and jj's house like they sell prom dresses they sell wedding dresses that's real brave like the getting your wedding dress online but they sell prom dresses wedding dresses formal dresses like veils all those types of things so i took a very long because i had never bought from them before so I took a very long time to research, look at YouTube reviews. Long story short, I ended up getting my veil from them and I was pleased. My veil was like under $50 and it was a long cathedral veil. I like the detail in it. So I had a different person that I used for the up lights, the cake spotlight, as well as the, the Gabo, Gabo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's basically like when you, you know, when you see like a monogram, like, like a, like being projected either on the floor or on the wall we had ours projected on the wall it had it was like Shaniqua and Jeremy or Jeremy and Shaniqua and it had our wedding date um and so I had all of those three I rented all of those three things from a site called rent my wedding um and I did reviews on them as well and I was very pleased with their products and their prices and it was very simple they they mailed the things out to me just a few weeks before the wedding and then I just had to drop the box off at like a FedEx or something um, within a few days after the wedding. It was it was super simple. 
Um, and so like the reason why that I did not go through the same company that uh, provided the cold sparklers for our wedding was because this rent my wedding company was cheaper. That is, I'm just gonna be honest, they were cheaper. Um, and I researched the up lights and the wireless up lights and I researched, I was like, oh, all you literally have to do is just pop the switch. Like there's no, I don't have, I don't need anybody to come out and set it up or a technician or anything like that. You just put them on the floor and pop the switch. Like, so I was, I was confident like that that could be done. So I ended up using Rent My Wedding for for those three things. Oh, another company that I used for a couple of things, let's see, my cake stand, um, the Unity candle that was used during the ceremony, the two grandparents, they lit it, and then Jeremy and I, we lit the middle one, um, the Unity stand, as well as, what else? The Unity, the Unity candle stand, the cake stand, and then the curtain. So during our, during our ceremony, um, in the middle, you'll see there's there's a tall, like, ivory curtain. That curtain was not a part of the ballroom. That curtain was placed there by a company. That window is actually just tall and bare. And so um, I knew I wanted And so it's kind of like, I guess it goes in, into the category of draping. I don't know as far as pricing. But I the company that I used for, used for those three things was Unlimited Party Rentals. And they're out of Hiram, Georgia. And so... I like negotiate like honey I negotiate because they they go by like how long they have to be there to set up or whatever so like I nego negotiate your prices with your vendors <laughs> like obviously like give them what they deserve but like don't just don't just like make sure you let them know like because with with that with that particular vendor like they were going to charge me a little more um and I I pretty much told them like, hey, like you, you can come at this time during setup and we're not going to be in the same room for the cocktail and the reception as we offer the ceremony. So as soon as the ceremony is over 30 minutes later, you can, you can take, like you can take the curtain and you can take the unity candle and the cake stand. Like I'll give it back to you that Monday. But they took a little bit off because they realized, oh, we're not going to have to be here for like eight hours, you know, waiting to take this stuff down. So things like that, like you gotta, you gotta know like how you can, you know, negotiate because they, they just don't know. And they'll just charge you like the standard rate based off of like time, like how long they have to be there and things like that. I had two frames. So one frame, like I literally, just, I think I just bought it from like Walmart and like bought some Walmart gold spray paint and I spray painted it. And then another frame I had that was like nicer and it was already gold. That frame as well as an easel that I got that was really heavy and I ended up spray painting in gold as well. I got from Facebook Marketplace. Now, before you say anything, I like, why did you buy from Facebook Marketplace from a stranger? If you choose to use Facebook Marketplace and you get something, you know, you go and you meet up with somebody like a stranger to, you know, do the exchange, like take somebody with you, go in daylight, go in a public place, that sort of thing. Um, but the frame I got from this, this young girl, she had just had her wedding um, and her, her colors were gold and white. And so I got that frame. And then the easel was from, I got from this guy in Atlanta. I, ended, I took, I definitely took Jeremy with me for, for, for that one. Um, but yeah, I got those things. Cause again, like we're trying to save coins. Like we're trying to any and everywhere that we can save a, save a penny, honey, we're doing it. That's what we're doing. Um, so I got those two things from Facebook. So, Let's see, my linens, um, the flower petals that you you may have seen, like if you watched our video, um, the that had that made the S is Paisley had petals that she was supposed to throw out, but again, she had her cousin's hand. Um, but the petals, um, the linens, the so there were some gold that you couldn't really see in the video, but they were like some gold acrylic stands um that were on top that were holding up like a big bouquet of flowers during the ceremony um those as well all of those things were um bought from a site called eFavor Mart um so the linens were the biggest thing so y'all linens can be expensive expensive to rent expensive to buy especially expensive to rent so my particular catering company that I went through <sighs> their linens were like $26 a piece to rent and 
I was just like, honey, like, because it's not, you're not just getting linens for just the tables that you're eating on. You're getting linens for um, other tables, like, you know, the, 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 the gift table and the cake tables and the table that you're getting, you know, so, and like, especially if you want the, the, the linens to like touch the ground, like that's a different length, like all of that. Like I had the, the round tables as, and as well as the long tables. Um, so I was just like, I'm just going to try to find, I was like, since I knew that I didn't have to rent my linens th through them, um, that was just an option. I was like, let me try to find some linen somewhere else. So I ended up finding Efe Remark. I never ordered from them before. Um, their stuff is, you know, pretty good quality. So I got, and their linens were like, like $13 a piece, like $12 a piece, $9 a piece. It just depends on which, because they had all types of, all types of options. It just depends on which kind you get, the link, all of that. Um, they came fairly quickly. The only thing, the only ca caveat that I will say for that, they don't come pressed and steamed. And I did not know how much pressing and steaming costs. That cost to get, I, I can't remember the exact number that I had, maybe like 20 and all or something like that, linens in it. And I can't remember the exact price because my mom had paid, she did, she did pay for that. But I think she said it was like, I don't know, like two, maybe a hundred and something dollars or something like that i know i what i do know is i did save a couple i still saved a couple of dollars even though i had to um get them pressed and steamed because they weren't already like that i still ended up saving a couple of dollars um if i would have versus having to versus renting the linens from the catering company that i used the next thing that i'm about to show you i'm not sh not showing you be just because like I i'm gonna give you an exact link of these invitations but just to give you an idea so when i start thinking about my wedding invitations i was like okay i want something cute that i that i've never received before for a wedding that like it's gonna like set the tone so i was researching etsy y'all etsy will suck you in like i already stated and i saw these cute acrylic um invitations and they were so beautiful and they were so expensive um and so i my maid of honor i sent her the picture and she was just like, oh, like, I have a Cricut. We can make those. Well, after we finally got done making them, she was like, never again. <laughs> she was like, it's too tedious. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to show you, like, just so, like, if you want, like, if, to give you an idea. So these were what were, um, we made them, like, she did most of the work. I'll just be honest. But we made them. But they, they say, Jeremy and Shaniqua cordially invite you to attend their wedding celebration. And has the time and the address and so these came in like these big white um like like a jewelry box basically like a big white box and the box had our like name on them as well and these these were our wedding invitations um and everybody seemed to seemed to think that they were really nice and something that they possibly uh, I think a few people told me that like they they kept them um so this is just acrylic plexiglass and so this I got like the plexiglass I got from Amazon the like um I can't remember what it's called like the foil or something one was foil and one was like sticker something anyways like we got this stuff from like different places like Amazon and Michaels and some other site that I had found because we it was a trial and error type of thing but we finally got it right they i was pleased how they turned out and then just to keep bragging on my maid of honor she like volunteer volunteered to like make me some menu cards which i thought was super sweet and super cute and so one thing about my um my catering company that i used in my wedding like COVID season or whatever and i for you guys it's probably different by now because like they're you they're like i feel like there's been a shift in like phases as far as like COVID and how it relates to weddings but while we were planning the phase that my catering company was in they said they were going by CDC guidelines in terms of catering they told me like no like anything that touched your mouth could be sitting on the tables at the reception like the, the guest table so like the silverware um and the napkin that like somebody would like actually like actually use as well as what else 
glassware, the plates, like none of that could be on the table. So when we found that it was, it had, it was going to be set up at the buffet line, like at the buffet line. So when we found that out, we were like, okay, well, the only thing that's going to be on the table um, are the linens, of course, the center, the beautiful centerpieces, the gold charger plates. Um, and then they said, well, if, if your, um, your decor person, your florist, um, which I said in the previous video was Miss Pamela, if she has like extra napkins with the, the napkin rings, then like she could put that on the table. So it was just going to be the plates with the napkin ring. And that was it. Like no, no silverware, no eating plate on top of the charger plate, um, no glassware, none of that. And so I guess like Ariana thought to my maid of honor, Ariana thought to make me some cute, um, menu cards. And I just kept it because, you know, sentimental, but I thought that was really sweet. So, you know, if this is another way to dress up your, dress up your tables, um, make menu cards, especially, and people want to see like what's on the menu. Like if you have a, a lot of stuff like on the menu and we did, um, you, you know, your guests want to see what's actually on the menu before they get up there to the line, the buffet line, or if it's a seated, seated dinner before, they, their food comes out especially if you're not doing an invitation where you have to the guest has to check off beef or chicken and send it back in um i don't know if people still do that but if if you if you're not doing that then you know it may be a good good idea to have something like that not just for the looks but as well as for like the guests so they'll know what's on the menu and then lastly so um gifts so jay jeremy got me a gift and i got him a wedding gift um, so the gift that I got him were these cute cufflinks and the gift that he got me was a rose gold heart necklace from Jared that matched, like, I don't know if it, like, it, it matched my rings to a, to a T, but the cufflinks that I got him, they were super cute and I was able to customize them and I put his, his, um, brand, his Evolve brand actually on the cufflinks and I got, I chose the black and the silver ones and they were super affordable and you, the, the site that I used was a site called Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. If you've never heard of it, you know, you can customize anything from that site. Um, and that's what I, I wanted to get him something that was like, like, cause my, my husband is not like a flashy type person. He's not like a jewelry type person. He's like a meaningful type person like so if if your fiance or husband is like that where it's like okay what am I gonna get get this man like get him something that like has meaning that I don't know has either has his favorite sports team or or like a saying or a quote that he always says or something like that like so that's what I did for Jeremy I put his Evolve brand on the cuff link thank you guys so much for tuning in to part two of the vendors that I used for my wedding I hope this was informative I hope it sparked some ideas for you again all the information will be in the description of this video and comment below subscribe to my channel let me know you know if this information was helpful um, let me know other videos that you want to see in the future I will see you later